I'm gonna have to come back through this room once everyone's looted everything. Check them for my bracers. See, the, the pace at which I move while tanking, it simply cannot afford to wait for the mobs to be dead and then loot them later. Or, you know, loot them, because I'm already moving into the next pack, you know? Like, that shit's already done. We're moving on. I've got fucking Spirit of the Alpha. Insane threat generation. Giga 18x multiplier on Fan of Knives or whatever. Something like that, approximately. Moving on. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of threat. I assume that's all good. Knock back. Back and backtracking, looking for all the mob corpses. Slight slowdown. I mean, I know it's not optimal. So what are you doing exactly? Ah, Jerome, good question. Uh, I'm pressing fan of knives. Uh, and because I have the tank bonus raid set thing, my fan of knives is extremely good. And it applies Sebaceous Poison, which is the armor debuff. Basically, five combo point expose armor with the improved talent. Insane amount of uh, armor reduction. And it applies Crippling Poison, 70% move speed slow to all the mobs it's hitting. Now this bonus, this bonus from this set basically 4Xs the threat potential of the Fan of Knives ability. It's completely off the chain would that be strong in a, a big group of enemies are you saying like perhaps like wiping the alliance when they attempt to kill drekthar in alterac valley is that perhaps where you're going with this idea i'm just i'm just wondering because i got some more ideas about that yeah very much that okay well, what I was thinking about was, what if I don't even use this rogue for that? What if I use one of my other rogue? Well, mm, no, you probably want to use this one. Whatever. You could run Mind Numbing Poison, um, which is a 60% casting time increase, and you can apply that in an AoE. You can run Crippling Poison, 70% move speed slow. You can run Sebaceous Poison. You can only pick two at once, but you could theoretically, like, do two Fan of Knives with one weapon set, then swap to another weapon set, do two more Fan of Knives with that, and have a bunch of different poisons applied. There's an insane amount of, like, ridiculously offensive rogue poison debuffs that you can apply with Fan of Knives. And also, you can get this sword called Hardened Frost Guard, which is about a 3% chance to trigger per target hit. But if it triggers on any of the targets, it casts a Frost Nova. And then it will immobilize every target and deal them damage that scales one to one with spell power, by the way. Frost Nova Sword is Hardened Frost Guard, crafted by blacksmiths. All right, no one spoke up about needing Father Flame, so I'm assuming no one needs it.
Uh oh, rookery whelps. Okay, how big can I make this pull? That's the question. I the biggest. The biggest. That's how big I can make it. Uh, it's gonna be fucking huge. I don't even have a global free to cast Blade Flurry. Yeah, that seemed good. I'd say that seemed pretty good. I think that was all right. Read that. Okay, sweet. Okay, I did not have threat on that one, apparently. I just assumed I had threat on everything. After what... How that went down. That was a good one. That was a good pull, I would say. That was a lot of black rock bracers, too. Excellent. Okay. Man, I thought I actually aggroed that pack. <sighs> Double knockback. So, look, when you put uh, crippling poison on all the mobs, you can actually, and they're melee, you can actually just kite them and hold threat on them without actually taking hits from the mobs. Because the Fan of Knives range is bigger than melee range. Skuller, not what you want to see. You want to see Briarwood Reed on that guy. That's the, the good one. Okay. Using focus attacks for Fan of Knives? Yes, sir. Those focus attacks. Control to the right. Third mob haunted. Fan, fan. Hit you. Hit you. Some kind of weird pathing there. Ready, set. Jump. Oh, there's skinning up there that needs to be done. Mm. Pull the ble ble bleachers. Extra orcs. Ah, they're not up right now. We can't pull them. Oh, oh yeah, our, our rogue is up there, okay. After the next gate, you see we got huge astic up here positioned to pull all those. After the next gate, probably my cooldowns will be available too. That'll be good. Alright, I think we're going. 
Wait, what happened? Wait, where's Hugh Jastic? There, okay. All to the rear gate. Which doll rend will Simon get? Ooh, that's a good prediction. Main hand, offhand, or neither? What about both, dude? Why are you why are you neglecting the possibility of both? Evasion up. Backpedal a little bit. Move around so I'm not actually getting hit by the mobs as much. Greed, greed, mobs in front. Okay. How do you have that much energy on that pull? Well, there were a lot of mobs that got hit by every single time I cast Fan of Knives. And every time I get a critical strike, my focused attacks rune gives me three energy. So the more mobs I'm fighting, the more energy gets returned each time I cast Fan of Knives. Um, to the point where I basically have unlimited energy, like I can just cast Fan of Knives and it refunds essentially the entire cost of Fan of Knives. non-streamer clients so both doll rend and fell striker drop look the ideal drop from this boss would be both of the swords and then there's only two items so fell striker is not going to drop okay that's what's happening okay it's just not going to be a fell striker type of run Yeah, the, the stream prediction is up. Doll Rend swords are what we're trying to get. 39,000 points on neither, and there's only 5,000 points on offhand, 1,000 on main hand, zero, no betters on both. Dude, okay. You guys never believe in my stream pulls and me getting lucky, okay? Ravy says, good day, hat man and chat. Well, this one, I can't tip the brim of this hat, so I have to do this. Good day to you, too. Wait, there's loot sparkle. There we go. Yeah, this is a bit... Okay, this is now a insanely high prediction. There's over 100,000 channel points riding on this one. And it looks like there's about two minutes left to get your points in. Holy shit. Look at this. 9,000 plus 25,000 plus 29,000 plus 83,000. This is a big, uh, this is a big, uh, prediction. Points are gonna move. 
Hats are probably going to change right after the prediction. Spell power rows are just nerfed? Uh, yes. I mean, like, a couple days ago, but yeah. In Venom, no longer benefits from spell power. Which makes Supreme Power Flask still a good option, but significantly less impactful than it was before. Rend is coming out next. It's just Biss for Heat 3, surely. Now, uh, I tried some Supreme Power Flask with Dragon Breath Chili and some Flask of Chromatic Resistance setups. Uh, you know, and they're actually just like very similar in estimated damage output. Yeah, the Flask just with Chili still amounts to around 40 DPS. Which doesn't make sense to me. 150 spell power on something that I think has a 10 second internal cooldown. Maybe I have the mechanics of chili wrong. With one to one scaling means it should be about 15 DPS unless you're critting and there are so many other spell damage multipliers. Well, what, there's improved, uh... I mean, there's improved Scorch, there's Occult Poison, there's Mark of Chaos. That's 15%, 10%, 10%. Maybe that is enough. Big pog damage. Combined with your spell critical chance. I'm frozen. F, 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 F. I can't taunt him while I'm frozen. Oh my god. He's running wild. What do we got? Neither. God damn it, we have to go again. Okay. The correct choice was on neither of the swords dropping. Greed, greed, arcane resist helmet, insane. L. Why didn't I turn streamer client on? I thought I did. I must have clicked the wrong icon on my desktop. So that's on me. We're gonna do another big pull. Oh, we're pulling, okay, we're pulling this stuff in back first, okay. This one is potentially more dangerous.
Uh, crew, wait, hold on. I missed a sub. Kruger coming in with a Prime Gaming. Thank you very much for the Prime subscription. I really appreciate your support and I hope you're having a great day. I have to make this pull now. That's not that big of a pull. I don't know. Seems a little mid. That was only two packs. I feel like I deceived my, my raid group saying it was gonna be some big pull. Okay, I didn't get as many as I thought I would. It's disappointing. Twenty seven out of forty. Evasion is burned, so I probably don't want to go Super Giga. You can get five, though. It's fine. These guys immune to crippling poison or something? They're not getting crippling poisoned. I want to kite them. All right, 28 Black Rock Bracer, 305 skinning. Okay, beast time. Oh, does the Gamba need to pay out? I can do that. Sometimes Thor can't do them if uh, he predicted in them. Uh, neither was the correct option. Undermine real blood moon cloak greed roll that black mist arm guards greed roll that I'm getting stunned by the ad thing? Okay, they're dead. It's fine. They're dead and I'm not. Okay, he's ghost mode. Uh, I need to stay on him. I need to be quick with this potion button. As soon as I take a spike of damage, drink the potion. Give my healers a little extra second to catch me up. That's good. And we did it. No deaths. Celery Pendant. That's actually some insane loot. The ring is really good for casters and hopefully one of the, I mean, the surely one of the hunters need it. That's good stuff. Okay, I also have Pip Skinner. I'm gonna skin this guy. Read roll that. Read roll that. Rugged Leather X4. Back to this. Sebaceous Poison. Uh, crippling poison. Okay. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. Good healing, Jerome. You're solo healing this. You're doing you're doing good stuff, Jerome. I appreciate you being here.
I feel like some of these mobs are immune to crippling poison. Which is annoying. Look. I have all the threat now. Yeah, he's hella immune to being slow. Do I have free act? Oh, I don't have free action potions. Oh well. Okay, uh, now I have free action potions. Those will be good for the boss. Troll is leaving currently. Two seconds on shuriken toss. Now we're good. Refresh that. Do some of these. Roll that. Stun the big mob. Oh, help going down for some reason. Slightly. Okay, what is this? Increased fire damage taken. Uh, okay, I'll wait for that to go away before we kill the next pack. Any black rock bracers for me? Wait, that guy probably has one. Some of them had mortal strike. That would do it, huh? Yeah, that, that would probably do it, yeah. That makes sense. Okay, we can get patrol, actually. I'm con flagged. I'm, I'm dying. I'm... Wait, maybe not dying. I'm... Low health. Um, I'm okay. Oh, an assassin pulled in. I see. Uh, let's see, Beast Stalker Tunic. That's got to be good for one of the hunters. The, the hunters are low level, so I just assume they need all the gear. Greed roll that. Greed roll that. Uh, it is 1240. Uh, what's the runtime on this one? 39 minutes? I don't think we can reasonably do another full run. Um... You guys good to do a rend run? Okay, we go again, rend run. I have raid at 1.30 p.m., not enough time. Maybe not enough time, we will see. Alright. Let's see if we can get one uh, DPS replacement.
20 minutes of that run is rend RP. I think this timer isn't also the full run because we zoned in and then we waited for a little while of um, people to get here and that should be counted in this timer but it won't be in like the next runs timer, right? Because we won't be waiting forever for everyone to get in. Pet's still dead at the entrance, nice. Alright, reset, um, uh, we reset, we go back in, yeah, let me skip this track. Yeah, okay, we're all good to go. Let's just let's just blast it. Should probably loot those. Nice. 33. I mean, maybe we have time for the full run. We definitely lost some power losing the druids. The druids were big pumpers. But such is life. Is this the soundtrack to Morbius? No, it's actually the soundtrack to Hades uh, video game. Uh, Hades 2? I don't know. 80 soundtrack, pretty hard. Sebaceous, crippling, and the occult is from one of the other rogues. Pretty insane. 35 bracers. Across to here. There's another bracer on a body that I need to loot. There we go. with the tr trick question no one has seen morbius to be able to answer that that's just that's okay that's the same reason why no one knows whether dr morbius ever actually says it's morbin time in the movie but personally i believe he does say that line 
but you're right because no one ever actually watched the movie no one actually knows what happened Double knockback, dude. So annoying. Oh, shit. I didn't have Blade Dance up. So when Blade Dance is not up, Fan of Knives does not double its threat, and it costs 50 energy, so it's terrible. You have to have Blade Dance active for that shit to be good. Let's see. Looting this room, then turning in quest. You can do pyro if you want. I think I should have 38. This is 39. Hopefully there's one left in the back here. Yeah, look, there's one. 40. There we go. Alright, out. The, the pet is still dead right here. Extra dimensional ghost revealer. Bodley, final preparations. Complete quest, mea culpa, Lord Valphalak. Is it, you guys, is it indicative of, like, a problem of some sort? If you're three weeks into the phase and you've done the Dark Mantle upgrade entire quest line three times already? Or is that just, is that just normal? I, like, it's very normal. Okay, okay. I was concerned for a minute that, like, it might be something to be concerned about, you know. Seek help? <laughs> what are your top three WoW villains? Oh, this is a good question. Oof. Mm. I mean, they gotta be the ones from Warcraft 3, because, like, that's when the story was the best. Um... Hmm. Illidan is up there. I mean, Arthas has to be number one. Arthas is number one. It's like the best story going from evil mode or going from good mode to being corrupted to being Ill, evil. Like, that shit's crazy. Wait, does anyone actually need this item? Let me look. Okay. Wait, Kruga need? I'm a... Mm, what do I have for fire resist on this slot? All right, we going for it. Yeah, I don't have good options for fire resist neck right now. The zero stats uh, Onyxia tooth pendant, not really very desirable. Or not Onyxia tooth, uh, Onyxia attunement neck. What is it called? The 10 stamina, 15 resist, not really what you want. Okay. Yeah, so Arthas, 100% number one best villain. Um, Van Cleef is up there, and Illidan is up there, I think. I'm not sure if I just haven't thought of other ones, but, like, Van Cleef's story is like a story of the, of the working people being screwed over by the rich man, okay? By the rich uh, nobility of Stormwind, okay? And that's, that's a story that's a good story, you know? Didn't they just not pay him? Okay, so they hired the Stonemason Guild to uh, repair Stormwind after the first war. And the Stonemason Guild did a banger job. They, like, made Stormwind uh, great again, okay? 
They built the walls higher than anyone ever built the walls before, okay? And Stormwind was now great. And then the, the nobility decided that there wasn't enough money left in the royal coffers to uh, pay the stonemasons. So they were just like, um, we're not going to pay you anymore. And um, the queen of Stormwind was very, like, against this. They were like, this is this is wrong and bad or whatever, but essentially got outvoted or whatever by the rest of the nobility or whatever. So the stonemasons didn't get paid. So then after not getting paid, they started breaking down uh, all the stuff they built, which then turned into a riot. Um, which, you know, this all, like, makes sense. Like, you get hired for an insanely big job, you do a good job, and then you don't get paid. It's like, okay, well, we're gonna take apart all the stuff just to spite you assholes now. Uh, and then that turned into a riot, which turned slightly violent. And then, like, the one person in the nobility who was actually, like, on the side of the stonemasons, the queen, uh, gets uh, injured or killed in the riot. And then the stonemasons get blamed for it. So now they're they're fucking exiled from the town and shit and no one likes them anymore except they all know that they did nothing wrong and the the um you know the the queen's death wasn't their fault it was a fucking riot or whatever um you know so then they form the defias brotherhood and they take over westfall and they make a juggernaut boat in the in the dead mines caverns and plan to one day rise to greatness again or something like that but basically some hard working blue collar you know skilled tradesmen got screwed over by some you know hoity toity uh, rich people and then they fucked around and then they found out All right, we going in. Bro, Stormwind could just send 160 elite. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all the guys with dead minds are level 20. Good point. I don't know why they don't do that. Like, I'm pretty sure a Stormwind Guard level 55 could just clear dead mines. End of the Defias Brotherhood, end of the story. Man, I wonder if you could set up a private server where you have, like, player control of a Stormwind Guard. <laughs> Use some GM powers, make that happen. That would be crazy. That would be funny. So basically, as soon as Rend dies, if he doesn't drop both Dahl Rend swords, then I'm going to be DPSing for this world boss raid. <laughs> but if he drops both Dahl Rend swords, then we're going to be tanking for this world boss raid. Let me throw up the prediction again. Which doll rend will Simon get? Okay, five minutes on the clock. How far in are we? 13 minutes? Yeah, we might be able to make it to the end. I'm gonna 
take a quick be right back for a bathroom break uh well uh a whole lot of nothing happens in this game one second Okay, looks like we're fine. I also changed into shorts. Uh, cause they're comfy and easy to wear. This song, skip. Oh, Set Triple, you got your Fell Striker? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Very good, very good. Congratulations. Maybe someone gets a Fell Striker in this run. Who would it be? Hugeastic? Giscard? Also, the Gamba is up. Uh, what Dal Rend swords are going to drop? Main hand, offhand, both, or neither? We got a big Gamba. It's already uh, over 60,000 points in the Gamba. Most of you guys saying neither. Lost my shirt on the last camp. Uh oh. Uh oh. Salrigath says, got both first run, but no fell striker after 86 run. Dropped once, but a shaman got it. Okay. I have no idea how good or not good it is for shamans. Country has anti-gamble law. Yeah, some countries, I would say, correctly identify this as a form of gamba. many rogue characters? I have three rogues at max level. It's my favorite class. I like playing rogue. something wrong here. Why do, you, why, why do I not have to start on that? Okay, whatever.
Yeah, I think I think if we if we take it nice and easy and we don't like do big pulls that get us killed, uh, I think we can finish this raid before this dungeon before my raid starts. Making good time so far. The reasoning to raid with different builds or just more lockouts on your favorite class both you know one of the characters is saber slash dps one is mutilate dps and this one is tank so we get to experience a large a large variety of rogue specializations Oh, Sacred Charge! Let's go! Need roll that one. Greed roll that one. Greed roll that. Greed roll that. That's good. That's one of them. That's one. Who who wins the prediction? 7% of you bet on main hand only. Boom. Hey out. As a decent sword, I'm not sure. I, I feel like we're a little bit too rushed. I don't think we should rush into tanking the world bosses in 25 minutes. I think we should stick with DPS that we we're all set up for and ready for. Target the new guy. Saw the new mob came in. We're in the yellow piss bubble that the priest protects us with. I don't know exactly what it does, but I assume it's unsanitary. It's very clear. Are you sure? Because it looks like. It looks like pee, Jerome. You're sure it's the holy light and not pee? Okay, you caught me. <laughs> uh, Kuja going for a change hat. Okie doke. Okie doke. Uh, this one. stuff later, I guess. I'm gonna give extra shadow protection potion. One to healer. Uh, and who are my top damage dealers? Uh, okay, the other rogues. Okay. Increase our odds of success on this boss. Okay. So we're gonna have to kill Valphalak with eight people now. 
This is just the way it is. It's how it's gonna be. I got knocked into the air. I have only 2.6 thousand threat on this mob. I'm no longer the threat lead. Do a taunt, then a mutilate. Can I kick that? I cannot kick that ability. Okay. I am now the threat lead again. I uh, cannot stun him. Oh, I'm knocked back again. What is it even doing? Okay, just charging random people. Feared. Right as my blade dance goes down. Typical. Uh, okay. Greed roll that. Greed roll that. Equip the pip skinner. So we can get rid of the corpse. Re-equip that. Maybe a little tough with only eight peeps. But I believe I also traded a few people some shadow protection potions. Uh, let's ready up and blast it. Helm slash shoes am I wearing? Ah, the helm and shoes are hood. These are my two pieces of Night Slayer. Alright, Jerome will need all the mana he can get. I think he needs more mana. He's our only healer. Dispersion? Okay. Ready, set. Three, two... One, I have to find the item in my inventory. There it is. Okay, good threat lead. The range is a little bit stacked up here. I'm gonna kill those, because I have a big threat lead on the boss, so I can afford to help kill them. Okay, okay, looking good, looking good, feeling good, Spectral Assassins, he's going ghost mode, I'm gonna pre-pop evasion here, this thing, this thing, rupture up, watching if my health ever dips, I will drink the potion immediately, nice. Zero deaths, eight person kill. That's, that's, that's impressive. Okay, now I need to use the amulet on the corpse to summon the spirit of Lord Valthalak. Return to Bodley. Need to remember to do that before I hearthstone out of here. Got the quest on, yeah, yep. That's Dark Mantle completed now on three characters. Oh, shit. Hang on. Oh, that was just the patrol. I thought it was going to be the whole group of mobs over there. It was just one. Don't have the helm yet, though? Yeah, but I got 50 reels. I can buy it. It's, it's all just like, turn in, turn in, turn in. No, like, no RNG, no, like, dungeon runs required. If I'm not using Dragon Chili, there should be no reason for you to use spell power if you are not using Dragon Chili. But Dragon Chili is still a good item. You know, that skills with spell power, and like, if you're trying to go... Oh, sh I'm dying. Back away from the mob slightly. I forgot these guys can't be slowed. Uh, Jerome Mana Pool is low. Okay, I have to wait. Wait, 
I meant to pull all four of them. Why didn't all four of them pull? There we go. Haunt you. There we go. I don't think I've ever seen... Well, okay, like, pretty much every time, I'm like, Jerome, you need mana? Do you need to drink? Do we need to wait a little bit? He's like, no, 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 just just go, just go, just go. So I just assume that I should never wait for Jerome to have mana and just assume that he has, like, 18 flask of distilled wisdom in his inventory to pop at a moment's notice. Or something. Mana potions, you know... Dispersion gives him a bunch of mana. I know that about priests. I don't know a lot about priests, but you know. I still have the one other free action potion that Jerome gave me from the first run. He gave me two. That was nice. Ooh, I'm gouged. Okay, I'm not gouged anymore. Big mob. Lost threat. Haunt him back. What the? Did you guys just see that? He did a spin attack. That was wild. That's break dancing, so you did see that. Okay, good. I'm not crazy. Oh, no, no, no. I, I've got free action potion. I got free action potion. Thirty second on evasion. We're, we're gonna wait for evasion. Just, just make sure it's clean. Evasion and adrenaline are big cooldowns. Also, I have one healing potion left. I'll put that on the bar right there. Okay. Three, two, one. Reaction potion activated. Mm, he hasn't con flagged me yet. Here comes a flame strike. Move him out of the flame strike. Ah, now I'm con flagged. Taking dam, taking dam, taking dam. Two seconds left. Boss is dead. Assassin comes through again. Okay, now I'm dead. Damn, that assassin fucked us both times. I think we got it, though. I think we're good. Where's he running to? Did that mob just reset? Did he come in, kill me, and then reset? Or, wait, is Kruga kiting him away? Oh, Kruga's kiting him away. Oh, okay. I didn't see that Kruga was was far away kiting him. That was a uh, that was a good move by Kruga. That was smart. Very good. Well, thank you everyone for coming. I have to bounce and do the world bosses now. Uh, I do not need this shadowcraft tunic. Uh, greed roll that. Uh, greed roll that. Greed roll that. Greed roll that. We're now resurrected. We have uh, one of the two swords we want. Uh, I could send like an implacable black guard for the other spot or something, but we'll figure that out soon. It's time for some world bosses. And uh, thank you guys all for coming. Uh, uh, Jerome, Hugh Jastic, Giscard, you guys helped me out with uh, the Darmal East thing. Swaj helped with that too. Big Dumb, AKA Zug Zug, Kruga, Jerome. Ayatani, we had Anis in here before, 
and who's the other druid's name helping out with the first run too who's a guy i got from looking for group chat hulk daddy and we had sham god also sham god helped out a lot the spirit of the alpha is a very big deal and shaman buffs are insanely good and he did a lot of damage so yeah everything was uh good Wait, this Hearthstone just puts me to Kargap. Yeah, that's whatever.